One of the downfalls to working with higher resolution files like 4K and higher when we're editing is that it tends to get laggy and slow when we start adding in color grading, titles, effects, and transitions. This is where proxy files come into play. Panasonic recently released a firmware update for the S52 and the S52X that brought a whole bunch of new features to these cameras. Today I'm going to be talking about the proxy feature and how it can help us produce a faster workflow. Typically this was something that had to be done on a separate basis after we had already imported our files to our computer then opened up and started a new project in DaVinci Resolve. We would then have to wait again while these files transcoded and rendered into proxy files. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly link these files from your camera to your high resolution files in DaVinci Resolve so that you can have a more smoother, faster experience while you're editing. To activate your proxies, you're going to go into the menu just below where you select the frame rate and resolution. You're going to see a tab that says proxies. Turn that on and pick the size of proxies that you want to capture. You have the choice between large, medium, or small. I've been going with the medium selection. What this is going to do for us is capture high resolution files on one SD card and proxy files on the other SD card. Or if you're capturing your videos on an SSD, it's going to capture the high resolution files to the SSD and it's going to capture the proxy files to your SD card. Once you're done filming and you have your files transferred to your computer, you're then going to save these files in separate folders with the names high resolution files and the date. And for the other, you're going to have proxy files with the date. And this is going to help us to keep the files organized. Once you have that done, you're going to open DaVinci Resolve and start a new project. Then you can drag in that folder with the high resolution files into the media tab. Next, you're going to select any files that you want to link with the proxy files. Right click on your mouse, it's going to open a menu, then you're going to go down and select Relink Proxy Media. This is going to open up a sub menu where you're then going to select the folder that you save the proxy files into. This is why it helped to have this file clearly labeled with the name and the date. Once you have the correct folder selected and you hit save, it's going to close that sub menu and then the files that you previously had selected are going to have little pink boxes in the left hand corner that say PXY and this represents proxy files. That means that you have your proxy files properly linked with your high resolution files. Now you're all ready to start editing. DaVinci Resolve is going to automatically relink those files with your high resolution files upon export. And now that you know that, that's going to wrap up this video. But before I go, let me know in the comments what you used to do with the time that it used to take you to transcode and render your proxy files. Typically, I would either scroll on my phone or put some of the equipment away that I was using. Let me know in the comments what you used to do. All right, I'll see you in the next one. I grew up with low self-esteem It was me and my mama, just us in the trauma Hands up if you know what I mean I see you, I feel you, I want you to know that you're not alone I know what it's like not to have a home Like walking barefoot up a gravel road The pain gon' make you unstoppable now Audible, feel like I live in the end zone I'm the one leading the drives The crew riding round in a Benzo Red car